Uh, hello, uh, my name is uh, Freeze. I'm with Bikers Against Child Abuse, uh, also known as BACA. Uh, we are a nonprofit organization with 501c3. Uh, we exist as a body of bikers. Uh, our only mission in life is to uh, empower abuse kids not to be afraid of the world they live in. Uh, we do this by um, uh, working with organizations that are already in place like DCF, Child Advocacy Centers, Police Departments. Uh, and what we do is, is we go in and we work with the kids and we help build a rapport with those kids and try to teach them that they have this inner strength with, among themselves uh, to uh, face the challenges that they that's happened to them. And then uh, when it's time, we actually go to court with them and uh, we, uh, we lend our physical and emotional support to them, let them know they're not alone when they go to court. And uh, at the end of court, uh, we celebrate that the child was able to find that strength to say what happened to them. And it's always a win in our book. Um, and we don't really care about the perpetrator or the, the outcome of the case. Uh, we celebrate that the child had that strength and that we try to instill into that child that that strength that they use today, they can use that for all other situations in their life for the rest of their life. Uh, usually we'll get involved. Depends on uh, how it can be. Uh, we can be referred to uh, by one of those agencies that we talked about where the, uh, the parent or guardian can actually contact us. Uh, and then we'll go, what we'll do is we'll go out and uh, kind of talk to the family and the kid. Uh, we, uh, we vet the cases just to make sure that they are correct, that they do have uh, like a case number. That is uh, what we don't want to do is get drawn into something like a, uh, a custody dispute or something like that on a divorce. But we actually just make sure that it is a real case. And then we actually go out to the kids and we introduce ourselves to them and ask the kids do they want to uh, be a part of, uh, of our organization. We kind of, uh, in a sense, kind of adopt them into our family. What we do is, is uh, we'll let the child pick their road name uh, and everybody, they all have road names just like we have road names. And it, it, what it's done is to protect the child's uh, identity. Um, and so we start to make, give them choices in life because a lot of these kids have never had choices before and that's how we start that empowerment process they get to choose their road name they get to choose the back patch that they get on their cuts and we'll usually give them a little cut like this with some patches on it say now you're part of our family and we and just like any other family uh you know we got each other's backs and we're here to uh, get your backs and then uh, from there we start to build the rapport and um, we'll usually uh, go out and visit the kids and uh, we'll play some uh, games uh, with the children that are specifically designed to help them tap in the, and, and realize that inner strength that they have amongst themselves. Uh, we actually have uh, a lot of kids that's actually were Baca kids and, um, and, and actually grown to adults and uh, they join Baca themselves. Uh, or we've been out before uh, getting ready to empower another child and had somebody just come up to us at a gas station. I, I was a Baca kid, y'all really helped us out and it was amazing, you know. And, and that's all we get out of it, uh, really. I mean, it is a volunteer organization, uh, but it's an extremely high commitment and it's actually a lifestyle. It's just not, uh, you know, every other weekend type thing. It's a lifestyle commitment. And, uh, you know, you're there to help those kids. And um, it's, a, I mean, that, that's our benefit that we get out of it is, is to see the kid come out of the courtroom, see that weight lifted off of them. We do vet our people. Everybody had that, that joins BACA, uh, they do have to get fingerprinted and they go through a, a FBI background check. Um, we do uh, vet our people for anybody that has any type of abuse against kids or domestics or a showstopper. Uh, but we are a biker organization, uh, but we're 100% kid friendly. Uh, so we check our people before they come into it and not only that, there is a year long training process that we go through because we really train our people on how to, from everything on how to talk to kids, how to communicate with the agencies, what to do when we go to court. Uh, it, we even have classes on how to be a biker, you know, so um, um, it, it's an extensive course that we go through and that's that commitment, that lifestyle choice that I, I was talking about.